Lisbon perfectly balances historical charm and modernity. It is known for its vibrant, colorful neighborhoods, vintage trams, tunes of blues and delicious food. Portugal's capital spread across seven hills facing the Tagus River, so no wonder it has many viewpoints Miradouros to contemplate the beauty of the city. You can reach them by lifts. By taking the Gloria lift you can access São Pedro de Alcantara viewpoint. Set in a garden with a view of St. George's Castle, it is the perfect place to take time to sit and rest or buy a local souvenir from street artists showing their illustrations of Lisbon. Decades ago, Pink Street was Lisbon's red light district, but now it has transformed into one of the coolest nightlife spots. Taste the best of Portugal in the Time Out Market. The indoor food court that was opened by Time Out Magazine has 40 stalls showcasing Lisbon's top chefs. Snack on Portuguese favorite dessert, pastas de nata made right in front of your eyes. These delicious must-try custard tarts are often served with Portuguese sweet cherry liquor drink ginger. Lisbon is a port city and a place built on seafood. The best things to eat in Lisbon are fresh sardines and dried salted codfish known as bacalhau.
Portland's main pedestrian shopping street, Rua Augusta, leads to the city's Grand Square Praça do Comercio. You will pass under the Rua Augusta Arch, which appeared in the movie Gulliver's Travels. Vintage yellow trams from the 1930s are still part of the city's public transportation network. Riding train 28 has become one of the Lisbon's most popular activities. It is the best way to squeeze through the narrow streets of the older districts. This journey back in time over hills and charming streets become an attractive tourist route. Tram number 28 starts at Praça Martimonis and stops by the major attractions. of the Santa Lucia viewpoint offers one of the top views of old Lisbon. While we admire the beauty of the city, we were accompanied by saxophone player performing traditional Lisbon's blues. This melancholic music is called Fado. The best place to experience the nostalgia of Fado is Lisbon's oldest district, Alfama. There are many casual bars where you can listen to it and join the locals as they sing along. Another great viewpoint is reachable by truly unique industrial lift. Santa Justa lift from 19th century transport passengers up 45 meters.
everything centrally located, there is no need to rent a car. We stayed at a hotel in the city center and used public transportation and Tesla taxi to move around. We rode the 25th April Bridge, the longest suspension bridge in Europe, to get to Praia de Figuriana Beach. Thanks to white soft sand and shallow waters, it is one of the best beaches in Lisbon for families. Have fun on the sand and cool down in calm water of Atlantic Ocean. During our visit there was even a small sand island nearby where we could swim to. Right next to the beach stops a bus which we used on the way back to catch the train to the main Lisbon train station Rossio. Taking train from Rossio is the best way to get to Sintra. Sintra, included in World Heritage Site of UNESCO, is a magical town near Lisbon full of historic palaces and exotic gardens. The most visited and one of the world's most magnificent palaces is Pena Palace. It appears to come straight out of a fairy tale. Except it's a real palace built by a Portuguese king in 19th century in neo-romanticism style. To avoid long waiting lines to the palace, go early in the morning and buy tickets online ahead. Portugal is one of those countries that has it all. A trip to Lisbon can easily include time in the city and a relax at the beach, all while embracing Portuguese culture.